lot of y'all go to Sonic and order this as a side dish. Today we're going to make it a whole home cooked meal. Let's get it. Turn your skillet on medium high and we're going to brown our ground beef. If you have some grease in your skillet, go ahead and drain your grease. Once you drain your grease, we're going to add a little bit of diced onion to the skillet. You're just going to toss it around and cook it with the beef for about three to five minutes. Nothing major. Now we're going to add a little bit of W sauce. Just a little bit. Now I'm going to add some taco seasoning. Now we're adding one can of chili. Once you add the chili, you don't have to cook it too long because we're going to bake it in another. We're going to take our mixture and put it in a baking dish. We're going to sprinkle a little cheese right here on top. It should look like this. You already knew where I was going with this. I air fry some tater tots. We're going to place it on top of the chili. After your tater tots, it's going to look like this. And of course, we're going to top it off with more cheese before we put it in this oven. Now we're going to pop this in the oven on 400 for about 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I know y'all be going to Sonic and y'all get that chili cheese tater tot on the side. Medium, please. You can do this at home and it tastes just as good or better. Whoa. Serve this with a side of like Southwest corn or something like that. Put some sour cream on top. Oh my God. This is the easy chili cheese tater tot casserole for the win. 